Welcome to a video from the digitallifestyle.com. In this video I'm going to show you how you can use the new accessibility voice control uh, system with Windows 11. This is in the update that's coming out later this year, 22H2. And with, the, with this you can use your microphone to control all of Windows. So let's have a look at it. It's called Voice Access, which you can just find from the start menu like that. And there's a bit of config you've got to do the first time you choose which microphone microphone is going to be used and so I'm going to use the the built-in array mic on the on the Surface laptop because I'm using the other microphone to do my recording so it's so okay so let's start the guide and let's have a see what we can do with it so you can work with um, the menus you can work control the mouse you can do all sorts with the things so so I'm going to be toggling this mute on and off so it doesn't um, it doesn't try and uh, translate and, and, and control everything that I'm saying as I'm doing on the video. So I'm going to unmute this when I want to uh, control things. So I'm going to do the next thing it says there, which is click click on animal uh, click animal friends. Click animal friend. Click cat. So you can see how that was controlling then it actually used the mouse to do the, the controlling. So if for the application, it doesn't have to be a special voice ac access controlled application. It's Windows is doing this for you. So um, let's have a look at the other thing we can do with it. Show numbers here. Click five. Click dog. Show numbers here. Click eight. Click picture border. So you see, I can select things by I said picture border rather than number. But when I had the number showing, I could show the number as well. So if you don't, if he's not exactly hearing what you're saying, perhaps it's complicated. Um, option on the box or whatever showing the number is is much easier so you can see how easy that works and um, then the other thing you can do is control the mouse pointer and this is quite impressive show grid here three seven two click so you can see that using that you get the big grid of the whole application and then you can narrow it down so let's say if I wanted to click on the uh, cactus there show grid here five six Click. So there you go, you can see how you can move around and you can say undo if you want to go back out again. Um, reminds me of the um, Blade Runner uh, system, uh, Blade Runner scene where they're scanning through the photos. So that's exactly what you can do. So you put a grid, you say which part of the grid, and it zooms in and then clicks with that. So you can actually control the mouse through that. And of course, you can use dictation mode. So you could click into a box and then use dictation so I can click into the box and dictate what text I want it to say select that delete that click confirm show grid Five, two, click, select that. So you can see using the combinations of um, saying the things you want to click on, using the grid, you can edit text as you're going through it. 
So here are all the commands that you can actually use. So you can go into dictation mode, turn the microphone on and off. Um, you can do click, tap, right click, left click. So let's try opening an application. Click start. Click edge. Click edge. Two. Now the reason it asked me then was because there was two options, so it was giving me the option of which one I wanted to do. So So there you go, I've opened Microsoft Edge just using uh, voice control. Show grid. One. Two. Eight. Click. The digital lifestyle dot com. Voice access wake up. Turn off microphone. So you can see then I was toggling that without using the button, I was just doing that through the voice. So that's the control that you can use on there. Scroll down. Scroll down. Scroll down. Show grid. Seven. Two. Click. So that just shows how easy it is to do something like uh, selecting a web page, and you can scroll up and down and, it, and navigate around. It's really easy to do. So let's try an application. Let's try something like Paint. Click search. Paint. Click open. So you can see how easy it is to use, it's really simple and a great accessibility feature. Here are all the things that you can say, navigate, uh, before, afterwards, correct spelling, search, scroll around, interact with apps, switching apps, alt tabs and all sorts of things, so going to the desktop. So it's really easy to, to use. This is built into 22H2 which is coming soon. Windows inside uh, to Windows users. You can currently test this out if you join the Windows Insider program and go on the Beta channel. So thanks for watching this video. You can find out a full video of all the other changes coming to Windows 11 in the near future on our YouTube channel and on the